Right. Um, this is a response to um, Bryn Convenience response to my video on gender dysphoria. Um, basically, very good video, Bryn. Um, how the heck do you ever get uh, 22 minutes? Um, won't let me get up that long, that far. But anyway, I'm jealous. Cause like I could easily ramble for 22 odd minutes, but I'm only given 15. So, um, yeah, basically to reiterate what I said on, uh, the bygender.net forum in response to your video, um, gender dysphoria, it, to, ooh, to me, uh, gender dysphoria, the, the amount that I get is due to a handful of things. Um, what I'm wearing, uh, and I mean, it's not just, you know, I mean, I, I can wear this, this stuff is fine. Uh, jeans and a t-shirt, that's my normal fare anyway. Um, but it's like, if I'm wearing my binder, uh, or I'm not wearing my binder, I get dysphoria. Uh, like right now, I'm not wearing it because it's in the washing machine. Um, so yeah, I'm constantly, ugh, yeah. Um, but other things that affect gender dysphoria, as far as people, uh, we'll stick to people and group situations. Um, if the people know me, I mean, really, really know me, um, and I've come out to them, then that's fine. Um, I can be myself totally, no problems. That That's to be expected. I mean, you know, if, if you're out to someone and they say, well, and they're okay with it, and they say, well, we don't want you being a guy around us, that that's, that's not okay because they should know you. They should, you know, they should accept you. But we're not really going to get into that right now. Um, but yeah, if you're out to some to a group of people and they're all right with it, um, and they've known you for for a while, uh, be, being yourself, that's fine. Um, I have no problems with that. No dysphoria at all. Um, it's the other two groups. There's the group that doesn't know you at all, uh, as in, you know you've just introduced yourself to them. You're not out to them, but yet they don't have that preconceived notion about who you are, about what your personality is. Yeah, they go on along with you know, your physical appearance a bit. Um, I think everyone does that, you know, judging by first impression type of thing. Um, but they don't know you. They don't know how you act, how you behave. And in that situation, even though you're not out to them, um, I do think that you can get away a little bit with blending those gender lines to help out with any dysphoria you might you might come come across um, or might experience. Sorry, I think that's what happened with you at, at as you said in your video at, at the restaurant. Um, the waitress perceived you to be female, um, and no one really commented on it in the group. Uh, they may have noticed, but that I don't think you said that any of them really commented on it. Um, and that, that probably allowed you to, to open up a bit more and to be more, more girly, more feminine, uh, than you would have normally dressed as, um, your male self. Now, in groups that have known you for a while and associate you with being 100% your biological gender. Um, that's where it gets tricky because uh, obviously they have that preconceived notion that you are, in my case, female and you are going to act just like they do um, if it's a group of women. Uh, if it's a group of men, they'll, you know, they'll expect you to act like your biological gender, which I never have anyway. but. That's where the dysphoria, um, as far as around people, happens with me. Um, mainly, yeah, uh, I think your, your advice of taking a few deep breaths and realizing, 
repeating to yourself that you don't have to behave like that once you're out of that group. You can totally be yourself as soon as you leave that group. Um, that is excellent advice. Um, absolutely fantastic advice. And it's one that, that I need to remind myself of more often. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a short video today. But, oh, I must say, two, two. Gotta see it. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do it if you do it. I'll, I'll even throw in a, a, a pair of um, day glow leg warmers. Just just to see you do it. Just, just because, yeah. Um, no, seriously. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, my mind is going a mile a minute, but nothing's coming out of my mouth. Um, yeah, I, I think um, as far as gender dysphoria, yeah, that piece of advice is excellent. Uh, people really need to to pay attention to that. Um, well, that's it. Wow, short video. Right, um, expect more videos from me in the week ahead, um, especially, uh, I'll try to make one on Monday. Um, more like a, a nervous, it'll probably be a nervous video, um, because Tuesday I go back to my GP. Wow. Yeah, that should be interesting. But anyway, more on that later. So, bye.